Hey out there world, this your boy Dutch the Diesel Technician and today I wanted to do a tool review on some of my new tools. I got some new gizzards and gadgets and um, i like to share my thoughts and my opinion on a few of them. Um, first up, we got the Gator Grip Universal Socket by Endeavor, which is an American based company. Now, okay, first thing it has these spring-loaded metal rods on the inside that basically forms the shape of any bolt, hook, screw, and any other object that it can grip within the size because it go from it's a seven sixteenths to an inch and a quarter standard, which will be eleven millimeters to thirty-two millimeters metric um okay to begin with it's large right so it gives you the impression that it's a deep socket but it's not it's spring loaded so it only goes about that deep that's it just enough to grip the head of a ball not not a deep socket so this is not going to be a tool that for everyday use this is not going to be a tool that you're going to use on everything because it's big, but it's not a deep socket, so it's not going to get in a lot of spots, but this will save you a lot of time. It'll save you a lot of time because you don't have to carry around a lot of sockets now. The best thing about this is the smaller one. I have that too. This one is quarter inch to three quarters. Standard. Seven millimeters. To 19 millimeters metric. Okay, the grip by Endeavor. This one says made in the USA. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it says made in the USA. However, this one does not say made in the USA. You can see that. It just say Gator Grip made by Endeavor. That's because this one is made in China. The bigger one. It's made in China. This one is made in the USA. So basically, they are some of their tools are being made in China and some of their tools are being produced in the United States. So basically, look for the stamp. Look for the USA stamp if you want to get that quality metal. But it's a good tool. The best thing I like about this tool is this. I'll show y'all guys something. Stick that on your drill and let it rip. Stick that on your impact gun, I mean, let it rip. You know what I'm saying? Like, how cool is that? How cool is that? Wow, it fits right in there. You know what I mean? Like, that saves you a lot of time. But um, another tool that I want to introduce to y'all. Now, this is an adjustable lock wrench you see that it's made by craftsman now found out some interesting things about this this tool now this is the lock here on the top slide it over loosen it up six little heads in there six points they go up you squeeze it they come out and grip Whatever it is, you got in there. Now, I found out some things about this tool. Uh, it's a good tool, but before I get into that, I want to just put this out there. Um, the idea of it was brilliant. The idea of it is really good, but the configuration of the tool is my problem. It's a little big on the top. I don't know if you can see this, but that gap right there, when you're trying to get into some tight spaces, a lot of the times, this the top part of it will stop your wrench from getting to the ball. So, the configuration of it, you know, they need to do some, go back to the table with that. But if it gets, if it's an open ball and it's not attached to anything, which is rarely in my line of work, um, 
it'll be good for that. It'll be good for that. So I guess it is good in a sense, a good tool. But I found out some things about this. Now, this guy who owns the Loggerhead Tool Company, he came out with a tool called the Bionic Wrench, which is configured almost exactly like this. But he came out with his first. And Sis came to this man and wanted to buy, basically, tell, basically not buy, but basically, excuse me, basically what? Tell him only to sell his tools in Sis. He agreed to it. He did it for a little while. He sold over 200 something thousand tools. But then, all of a sudden, Sis didn't want to renew the contract. And then they find out they got these up. Now, if you look up the bionic wrench on the internet, they'll show you the pictures of it. It's almost identical to this. It's just on the arc. It's on the angle. And um, it's configured a lot better than this. That tool was made in the United States. This one is made in China. So says thumbs down for taking all those American jobs away from those people and sending them over in China and getting the tool made cheaper and selling it at the same exact price. Actually, you can get the Bionic Wrench for $19.99. This one is about $22. Made in China versus a tool that's made in the United States that's configured better. So you do the math. I'm Dustin Diesel Technician. That's my tool review.